This show is presented by the 323 Network. You can watch all your favorite 323 friends and shows on the 323 Network YouTube channel. Follow us on all social media platforms at 323read. And support us as we continue to grow at patreon.com slash 323read. That's 323-R-E-I-D. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably have, you know, we should start the show out with some type of... (laughs) They're already losing their shit. (laughs) This is how it should go. In a celebration of three years of this show, in 100 plus episodes, of course we would start with our lovely regulars, Scott Elia and Zahir Ali, barely being able to function because we're still laughing about... (laughs) Like pistachio, what? It's been a it's been a day. We're prepping for season three, the full season three, and I welcome you now to season three of the three two three. This is our premiere episode. This is going to be a big one. It's one that we've been hoping to do, and it, you know what? At no better time should we do an award show celebrating ourselves and getting to be fully narcissistic than the opening. We're coming in with a bang. We should have started it with a big musical number, but none of us. Well, Zoo is. And you'll see in one of these categories that's coming up. Oh, shit. That's right. Yes. But welcome, everybody, to the show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for always being with us. I am your host, Reed Murphy, joined by the host of the Animation Deliberation Podcast, I said animation. I got it out. You want to try I, it know, again? I know I got it. <laughs> it's uh, the Animation Deliberation Podcast. Part of the Stranded Panda Network. Zahair Ali. Zoo, zoo, zoo. And also a podcast host. Oh, wow. He's got There's the zoo the jersey now. <laughs> zoo. Is that a t- that's the Tides jersey, right? Yeah. Oh, it's sick. That's sick. Thank you, China. <laughs> Speaking of China, Scott Elia. Huge. <laughs> he is the host of the 323 College Shame Day. A great <laughs> deep dive into college football with a just wonderful name. I love that name. It just makes too much sense. It does. It was honestly going to either be that you know, just to give people a little behind the scenes, since this whole show is going to be behind the scenes. It was either going to be College Shame Day or FSU, because that's, you know, that's what you're repping literally right now. Fuck Scott University. We yep. love that. I feel like it would. It, it probably would be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, demonetized if we uh, went with that route. Yeah, a little hard to promote. And it only yeah. took three days to get, or three tries to get. Oh, yeah. Yep, quite a way. But you found your way. And now you have ultimate power sitting at your hands as we do the show at any point that you want. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I, it, I just I feel the power. I you 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 know in the in, in Zoo will appreciate this reference. But you know in the you know the scene in Aladdin when Jafar finally gets like the <laughs> ultimate power. That's how I feel. And it right becomes now. a genie. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate cosmic power. (laughs) (laughs) Emily Sissel sends her love. She wishes she could be here. She is exhausted. Three hours of sleep. It was partially my fault because I've been sick and snoring and I kept her up. And but it was also the cat and just everything. So Meatball sub coma. Yeah, meatball sub coma. We love meatball subs. Listen, if I want to go out, I'm gonna date a meatball sub coma. Sign me up. I'm happy to have you two here. We've had incredible contributors as this show has gone on. Three years. It's crazy to think that it's been, it's literally over three years now. And, you know, everybody from all the new friends we made from Luis Martinez to Emily Karen, Griffin Wolbert, uh, uh, <laughs> Cramps. <laughs> Cramps. Cramps. <laughs> Everybody has been <laughs> so wonderful to make a part of this family, <laughs> but it's you two, you two goofs, 
<laughs> that I've been especially happy to be able to do this weekly or bi-weekly or, you know, sometimes monthly, depending on when we're able to do it. I've been so happy to have you guys as a part of this and to be able to uh, do this with you guys and have your support. So I truly thank you. I truly love you both. Um, it's wonderful to do it with you guys, and we'll continue to do it with the Sunday Hangover with more of those. And I love that we've gotten a crossover. I mean, look, Zoo, we wouldn't know each other if it wasn't for these podcasting things. The same with Scott. Like, it's <laughs> like we've met through this and become like legitimately great friends. And so I I just appreciate you guys and I thank you. And I want to turn it over to you before we get into the the meat of the show, the top five awards, something that we've been teasing for over a year now, and it's here. But I want to turn it over to you guys really quickly if you have any thoughts on this show and the three years and the experiences or connections that we've made over 100 plus episodes. Yeah, it's crazy to think that um, we just had a Virginia stranded panda meetup in Richmond one day, and you, me, and Emily were the only ones that had dinner afterwards. And after lots of awkward silence, like I think like commanders came up on the TV at the restaurant. I was like, oh, commanders! You're like, oh, you're a fan too? I'm sure I was just watching a football team at the time. Who can keep up? Yeah. Um. So the fact that that grew into us doing this show and AD and getting to go to awesome con together and doing a live show and texting each other, just the most ridiculous stuff every day and being amazed that we're not getting canceled. Like uh, for, for, for my internet friends to be some of my best friends now and people that I heavily appreciate and enjoy the company of ever so greatly, even if they're in my city multiple times a month and don't tell me, um, <laughs> you I'm know where to find me. To I'm not, it's, I, I, it's no secret where I'm going to be at after four o'clock. <laughs> it's no secret. Don't worry. I'm coming down next week and I won't tell you that I'm there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a picture at the bar. And you're like, oh, Hey, by the way, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> and, and then promptly leave when you park. No, he's a hundred percent correct. Like I never even thought, that I would ever be a part of any kind of show or anything like this ever. I mean, I can remember three years ago, you reaching out to to me and then, you know, Ray, who is also lost in space somewhere right now with Griffin, um, <laughs> you know, meeting up and helping get everything, you know, up and running and just kind of being part of like the NFL part of everything and the fantasy and recording in your mom's living room and just having like a Frankenstein almost kind of set up to now, um, you got your big upgrade over there. I, I have my own little setup. I don't have to run it off my phone anymore. It's just, it's definitely taken off the last three years more than I thought it would ever go. And that's, you know what? I don't mean that because I knew it would always be like this with how long I've known you and how much passion and energy and just love and care you put behind this. It does not surprise me. It's gotten to this point. It is crazy to think about the growth from the start and I, like I'll listen back to the first episode and it's kind of miserable for me to listen to to hear like the sound quality and all of this <laughs> and how like we we built this up from scratch and had to like self-teach so much of what right. we're doing and I think it's been I think this has been we're slowly growing but slowly growing is success especially with how diluted the industry is and how we're trying to evolve with digital video and all of this. But it's you guys' support. It's the support of fans. Awesome Con was awesome, literally. Not to, you know, no pun intended, but to have that experience and have such a big crowd that we didn't expect and to have a lot of those people carry over and subscribe, mm -hmm. subscribe to the YouTube page. And... It's it's just awesome to see. It's awesome to hear have people talk to me about you know sports thoughts, different takes or whatever. I yeah, I'm just grateful. I'm very grateful to you guys. I'm very grateful for the entire experience. And now it's time because as we're trying to build out a very serious network, and you know we're giving we give plenty of serious takes and serious conversations all the time we also like to keep things lighthearted it's the tone of the show the tone of this network along with trying to highlight voices that wouldn't typically 
have an easy way to get a spotlight or to get a mic and give great thoughts. There's plenty of great minds that we've talked to, but we've also had plenty of really just shenanigan moments. We call them shenanigans all the time. (laughs) And the things that we have, we're going to highlight here in the top five awards. And the first category that we're going to start with is something that we do plenty on this show. And oh, that yeah. is the top five coughs of the three two threes first two seasons. There's like we have plenty of categories here. We have top five coughs, laughs, impressions, musical moments, noises and mispronunciations, and then the best takes and stories categories. Oh no. <laughs> and, and coughs had to get their own. They couldn't get into a noises one. There's so many that we've had. And so <laughs> I'm so glad I've been muting myself because I could have started off this year very well today. I, and you know what? I congratulate you because you only made it onto the list once, even with the cool. OLIs, because we have a lot of honorable mentions and we're going to knock those out first. So the honorable mentions for the top five coughs are Reed Murphy. Thankfully, <coughs> that was cute. Luis Martinez. <coughs> Scott Elia. Um <coughs> like I name can't. one like oh uh, no, I'm just dying. Um just a little uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> um, to hear I'm happy. <laughs> Scott Elia again. So that he would just end up with another Lafayette. Little... <laughs> I don't know. That was like a sneeze call. <laughs> 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 And the late Mike Leach. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's time for the actual top five. Ooh, we got award music, fancy music. This is a real show, folks. So, the number five cough of the 323's first two seasons. Reed Murphy, Scott Elia, and Zahir Ali. (laughs) (coughs) why are we all coughing number four Sportico senior writer Barry Bloom ways to try (laughs) excuse me number three Scott Elia all white all white all white (coughs) number two Travis Byram I'm so sorry (laughs) keep going (laughs) <laughs> and the number one cough of the 323's first two years, Travis Byram again. <laughs> I completely forgot about Travis. Travis had some good ones. I just love I love this. I love the apology. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. I just love Scott. Oh, don't worry, I'm just dying. <laughs> I love Scott. I love the last breath that he has. Oh, why not? Why not? Why? I'm so sorry. <laughs> For those, for those who don't have the keys of the Ferrari that is this 323 channel, one of the sound bites is Scott coughs and dies. <laughs> Hey, there's one for the next one. Travis Byram couldn't be here tonight, but hopefully we can, you know, we'll accept the award in his honor. We know he appreciates it. And, you know, it might not be his last award for the night. There's plenty of uh, good categories for him in here. (laughs) (laughs) So we move on to the next category, gents, and that is best laugh. We've had some great laughs on this show. Actually, so many that we had to actually narrow it down for the first time of these categories. It's a loaded one. We have 16 honorable mentions <laughs> on here before even getting to the top five. Holy so, shit. First honorable mention is, of course, our uncle Lionel Richie. <laughs> we have Delegate Joshua Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Delegate Joshua Cole again. <laughs> Reed Murphy. <laughs> Reed Murphy's tee hee hee. 
Read Murphy's evil laugh. <laughs> Read Murphy like the Grinch. <laughs> Scott Elia laughing at the news of a Ben Simmons injury. <laughs> a drunk lady at the DC Defenders game. Travis Byram. <laughs> Travis Byram again. <laughs> Travis Byram again. <laughs> Travis Byram snort laughing. <laughs> Travis reacting to Reed's theater creds. I was a cow in a church musical when I was a kid. That was <laughs> the closest I got. This kind of sounds like Scott's last breath. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but... Hey, that's the honorable mentions. Now we're on to the actual top five. So the official top five laughs of the 323's first two years. Number five, Cynthia Mama Murphy laughing at a threat from Elvis Presley. I will pull your goddamn tongue out by the roots. <laughs> Scott Elliott's daughter, Reagan. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Scott Elia laughing at the word penis. <laughs> Travis Byram at number two. <laughs> Before you get to number one, if the number one isn't the one that I'm thinking of, I'm oh my god! <laughs> you think you know what number one is going to be? If it's not Griffin, I'm going to be very upset. The number one laugh of the 323's first two years, Griffin Wolberg. Yes! <laughs> oh, cramps. I love that one. <laughs> I love the Reagan Scott comparison laughter. <laughs> like, I see where she gets it. <laughs> That's the top five laughs. So congratulations to Griffin Wolbert. He that's a very deserve that's a deserving one. He deserved that. Should just rename the award to the Griffin Wolbert Memorial Award. It should be. Hey, it's on to impressions. Another loaded category. Some would argue more loaded. Impressions are something that we do on this show pretty frequently for no real reason. We just we start doing them and we're good at a lot of them. And some we're not so good at. But we do have a top five impressions. But let's get to the honorable mentions first. Now, before we do that, are there any impressions that either of you do that you would say are your best? Uh, I mean, I drop Herbert the Pervert every once in a while. I don't think I had that one loaded on here. What's, <laughs> give me your Herbert. Hey, that must be on paper, boy. Oh, mm. God. You guys want some popsicles? You guys roll down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. I think Scott Elliott just picked himself up a nomination for next season. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but on to the nominees. Well, I guess they are nominees. The honorable mentions. We have first up Luis Martinez as Anton Chigger from No Country for Old Men. What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? Luis Martinez as the Joker. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Luis Martinez is Hulk Hogan. 10,000 Hackamaniacs. And when you see the, these hands coming, the 24-inch pythons. And if you're a good kid and you say your prayers, drink your vitamins every day. Reed Murphy as Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh, yeah, yeah. brother. Scott Elia as Randy Macho Man Savage. Brother. Reed Murphy. Is and that why I started randomly saying brother again? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Reed Murphy and Scott Elia as Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's Ooh, Bob Joey. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about my songs like that. I'm not going to go to Vietnam. I'm going to go to Canada. <laughs> Reed Murphy and Scott Elia as former Raiders quarterback Derek Carr. I'm going to go back home to my, Fresno. to my steed in Fresno, California. Boy, howdy. Zahir Ali as Fanfare. 
<laughs> did you get <laughs> that was the live one? <laughs> Joshua Cole as Angela Bassett in Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. We Land know politics. what you whisper. Joshua Cole as Mbaku from Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Just because we live in the mountains does not mean we don't read. Reed Murphy as the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> 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 Wow. Was that Emily that said why? Yep. <laughs> Reed Murphy as British Parliament. He's like, Oi! Shut the fuck up! Reed Murphy as Sean Connery. I shit you not, I'm alive. Reed Murphy as Owen Wilson as Batman. Wow. I'm the Batman. <laughs> Reed Murphy as Bill Cosby talking to Jada Pinkett Smith. This is very uncomfortable, Jada. Would you like a pudding pop? <laughs> Reed Murphy as Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett. I throw a pick in the end zone and I do a little jokes. I have little baby hands and I call the football dukes. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Reed Murphy unintentionally and sick as Patrick <laughs> Mahomes. You know, taking uh, accountability. I think I was just sick that show, and I sounded like Patrick Mahomes. Oh. You know, taking uh, accountability. Reed Murphy as a cow. Moo. Reed Murphy and Travis Byram as Jennifer Coolidge from The White Lotus. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's about all the Jennifer Coolidge I can do. Wow. It makes me want a hot dog. Real. Bad. Real, real <laughs> bad. Travis Byram as Kate Blanchett at the Kate at the Critics Choice Awards. Hey, uh, this is a patriarchal meat race. Like, what? <laughs> John McCann, the Philly captain, as his new friend Flo Rida. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, Flo Rida? No, John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if he's excited about Atlantic City. Are you no, excited sorry. for Atlantic City? Yes, I am. See, there you go. Tickets start at $39, but then when the fees are added, tickets are $170. John McCann, the Philly captain, as Carson Wentz, Jesus Christ, and Dan Snyder. And thank God he got Carson Wentz because he'll do all the praying you need. He'll do all the praying you need. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, please let me be a good quarterback. And Jesus goes, no, Carson Wentz, you fucking suck. You fucking suck. We fucking hate you. Me and God, because I'm Jesus right now. I fucking hate you, Carson Wentz. I am so happy you are losing. You were traded for a number one pick. And then the commanders went, oh, we'll give you the sixth round. And the, the Colts were like, please, please take this fucking mess. And Dan Snyder's like, oh, we're going to be the best. Let's change the name of the team again this week. The fucking Commanders. Ah! I do want to note that we haven't seen him since then, and I would have loved to hear his reaction to that Monday night loss and that Super Bowl loss. (laughs) (laughs) John McCann, the Philly captain, as Scott Elia. Just to let the listeners on the inside before the show started, uh, uh, Chubby here was going, ah, Uber Eats, what should I get? Uber Eats. So I'm like, oh, God, guys. Can we do this fucking show? And he's like, Rah! John McCann, the Philly captain, is Scott Elliott again. He like that's right. He likes the Tampa Bay Buccaneers all of a sudden. Oh, oh, Tom Brady's here. Hey, Ma, Ma, get me that Buccaneers jersey, please. Okay. John McCann, the Philly captain, doing Scott Elliott's sign off. What? Did him. you hear that shit? I know. Did you hear that shit sign off? There's <laughs> always. <laughs> Who the fuck? Wait, like, it's like 1942. It's always, my dear. It's so nice to gather <laughs> with you here on the internet. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Scott, you dummy. <laughs> I like your hungry noise that he gave you. <laughs> also, the fucking commanders is something that we should have used more last year, and I'm glad I have the sound bite now. The fucking commanders! Ah! I'm going to use that every time I'm mad at them. Oh. <laughs> And now it's so, on to the so, actual top five. <laughs> you need to have that next year, Commander Super Bowl one. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's going on there. The fucking commanders! Ah! <laughs>
That needs to be like your celebration one though for the commanders. Like whenever they win or they do something crazy, yeah. oh, just to use it in spite of him. Context. Yeah, have yeah. a Philly fan. Don't use it in a negative way. Use it in a positive way. Number five on the three two three's best impressions of their first two seasons, we have Scott Elia as Uncle Ruckus. What, what do, do we have, have over here? Uncle Ruckus, <laughs> you have any other quotes you want to try? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Number four, Reed Murphy as the weekend and the idol. Open up your butt cheeks. I want to see your butt cheeks. I'm going to stick two fingers in your butt. <laughs> Number three, Emily Sissel as Scott Elia. Oh, my pizza rolls are done. <laughs> Number two, Travis Byram as Michelle Williams in The Fablemans. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. oh. And the number one impression of the 323's first years, Luis Martinez as Hulk Hogan offering to bang your wife. You want me to run wild over your missus? Just let me know. Those are our top five impressions. <laughs> we, we do them well. But something else we also do well, and this is a category for this guy right here, Zahir Ali. Uh -oh. The top five uh -oh. musical moments in the 323's first two years or first three years two seasons wow kind of makes us sound like we uh we underworked but anyway <laughs> number honorable mention joshua cole sings unintentionally to get your vote show up again next november <laughs> travis byron <laughs> scats <laughs> Yeah. Wait, we should stay on that. <laughs> I love how it took both of us a second to process that. <laughs> Almost got a spit take out of it. Show it was up close. again next November. <laughs> like, why did his voice crack like that? Show up again next November. Talk about a guy with a song in his heart at all times. Oh my god, yeah. His <laughs> Listen to how beautiful his voice is. Show up again next November. <laughs> Travis Byram scatting. Live Just be music. scatting. Right. Yeah, yeah, we could scat. <laughs> Reed Murphy and Scott Elia sing Slow Jams by Twista and Kanye West and Jamie Foxx. Some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross. Right. So, so far, Zoo, what are you thinking here? Some Doug Williams, some Luther Vandross. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Zahir Ali sings the Commander's Anthem. Charge down the warpath. For all DC, Zahir Ali sings the Krusty Krab pizza song. The Krusty Krab me. pizza is the pizza, pizza for you right. and me. Vin Diesel sings Christmas songs. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide Carol. I love how much sun by and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows some turkey and some mistletoe. Vin Diesel sings Oh Happy Day. Reed Murphy on the NFL Combine song. I'm your host, Rich Eisen, and I think it's time to introduce you to some of the guys that'll be throwing in the league one day. There's Malik. Oh, your mom would really love me. And Ritter. I can throw a country mile. There's Sam Howe. I'm better than Trubisky. And I'm Kenny. <laughs> And now, your top five musical moments in the 323's history. Number five, the Reading Rainbow theme song. 
Tries right punch to the sky. Durant gets twice as high. Let's take a look in the Chromebook. Reads reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Trade rumors to know. Top fives to grow. Reads reading rainbow. I don't know if we have licensing for this theme song. Let's take a look in the finance book. Reads reading rainbow. 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 Number four. Reed Murphy, Scott Elia, and Luis Martinez sing Happy Birthday to Luis Martinez. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Las Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear to Luis. Felicia. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to birthday. you. Happy oh my God, what a mix. Number three, Zahir Ali sings What an Ass. I think he what an ass, what an ass, a... what an ass, what an ass, what a mighty fine ass. <laughs> Number two, Zahir Ali sings the most dangerous time in Philly. The biggest takeaway from all of this. The most dangerous is time in Philly. <laughs> and the number one musical moment in the 323's history. Emily Sissel, Zahir Ali, and Reed Murphy sing the theme song for What's New Scooby Doo. What's New Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. that mystery. I see you, Scooby Doo. The trail leads back to you. What's your Scooby Doo? What's your Scooby Doo? What a harmony! Such a song. <laughs> Wait, Bro. was what an ass when we were playing cake and cake in? Uh, damn. Was Pretty it, sure. it, ha- it has to have been. I think right? he what, an ass, what an ass! What an ass! What an ass! What an ass! What a mighty fine ass! <laughs> yeah, it had to have been cake or cake in. Show up again next November. (laughs) On to the two categories that could get this show canceled. Especially when leading as an example. We have up next the top five noises and mispronunciations of the show. So this is a combined category of the weirdest noises and the worst mispronunciations that we've had. Or the most ill-timed mispronunciations that we could have now we also have weird noises we're going to lead it off with a signature weird noise of this show and that is from the late mike leach in this honorable mention Uh. we also have luis martinez when he was revealed to be a robot Traumatizing. Emily Sissel's snort. <laughs> Travis Byram's snort. <laughs> Reed Murphy can't say face. Anthony Mack, show your face. Show your ma- face. Reed Murphy's weird hockey noise. O V O V. What the fuck? Reed Murphy's mystery groan. Reed Murphy fails at trying to be hip and cool. The new new. Did you just butcher your own name while he doing did. this? I did. <laughs> Was I that did. intentional? It wasn't intentional. It's going to have to go in there. Next year nominee. Hey. Um, uh, Smokey Robinson tries to wish us a happy Hanukkah. Happy Chanuka. And Scott Elia botches a dad joke. If you haven't heard their rendition of Chris Brown's Run It, I suggest you go run and to your local, your, your nearest computer, tablet, or iPhone to the botched it. <laughs> I botched it. Oh, and now the top five weird noises and mispronunciations. Number five. Adobe Audition choosing a inappropriate time to fuck up as Emily Sissel tells a sentimental story relating to Chicago Bears to her abuelito. Everybody chooses, you know, their own reason for a football team. For me, my abuelito, he spent a lot of his formative years, you know, in Chicago and, you know, the very Hispanic side of Chicago. 
Chicago is definitely split up between a white sector, a Hispanic sector, and a black sector, it feels like, in terms of the city. Um, but, you know, he was a massive fan. Like, even when they sucked, he was still dedicated and loved them. And so, for me, when I had to pick a team, it was a no-brainer. I didn't have any connections to anything except knowing that he grew up loving them. So I will love him, them and carry on for him. That's a fair. That's a fair reason that we can't, uh, you know, trash on or joke on. Number four, <laughs> Scott Elia almost gets canceled trying to say Nick Cousins, Nick, God. Stanley Cup, Nick, Spelling. Nick Cousins. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Fucking Nick. Sp Fucking Nick. Sp Zahir Ali at number three, attempting to say Roy Kent. It's a wonderful Roy Kent. Number two, <laughs> Zahir Ali makes a mystery noise. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> what the hell was I doing? <laughs> Rewind that one, please. I love it. <sighs> I love it. And number one, Scott Elia's pizza rolls finish. Oh, my pizza rolls are done. Congratulations, Scott. You got a, you just won a top five award. Yeah. Oh, what a The dime. funnier part about that clip, though, was what Jeremiah said afterwards. On well, which one? When the pizza rolls were done. Oh. Because Jeremiah was on oh, there with us. Oh, my pizza rolls are done. That was, that was his Steelers TED Talk episode. Oh, yeah. And oh. he was like, damn, he just died? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fucking Nick. I must have had a good stretch or something. I think you did. It's Scott so, that it, sounds so. like a good stretch. <laughs> or like you just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful Roy cut. <laughs> Cancelable. Yeah. That's something else. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and now the final category of the night. The best picture of the top five awards here at the 323. It is the best takes and stories of the show's first three years. So, different hot, we have different takes in here. We just have some stories that were told, some revelations. There's some great <clears throat> revelations in here and just some great, you know, interactions. So, let's start with some takes and an honorable mention, which is some guy in Philadelphia's take. On Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, you crumb bum piece of shit. Some guy in Philly's take on Kevin Herter. Who the fuck is Kevin Herter? Zahir Ali gets worked up about the Dallas Cowboys. Dude! With a cowboy. <laughs> this motherfucker was clenching when he, uh, during that Hail Mary pass. He, ca he catches the ball, and so does like, you know, two other Cowboys because it's a Hail Mary. It's in the end zone, it's an interception. He is holding on to that ball for dear life because he wants to credit. Instantly after the game goes to Twitter and is like, can you please count that for me? Or can we split it? <laughs> uh, you pretentious Dallas motherfucker. Like, I can't wait for y'all yes. to embarrass yourselves in the playoffs. Yes. Oh, I feel Which they did. From him at some Ezekiel point Elliott. The Cowboys. Oh, First of all, oh. snap. It's going to be great. <laughs> Fuck those Jerry Joan dick sucking pieces of oh. <laughs> Cancel this man. <laughs> you won't immediately. It's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I said it's racist. And as I was listening back, that was my first song. I said, they can't. It's racist. <laughs> oh my god. Next up, Cynthia Mama Murphy's message to Cincinnati Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow. Fuck you. Yes. Emily Sissel and Scott Elliott rank NFL butts. So I would put Najee before Patrick, but Patrick Mahomes actually, like, his butt is a little bit bigger. It's got some wiggle to it. <laughs> John McCann, the Philly captain, yells his Angel Hernandez take to Angel Hernandez. Angel Hernandez, you stink, and I don't like you! John McCann, the Philly captain, justifies throwing batteries at J.D. Drew. Throwing batteries at J.D. Drew? That's kind of tough. But, yeah, we do that. 
Reed Murphy insults Cincinnati and the state of Ohio. Excuse, I'm sorry to the people of Cincinnati. It was not the Cleveland Browns. Oh. It was the Cincinnati Bengals. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's all Ohio, and none of them are going to win anything. <laughs> Scott Elia literally kills the state of Ohio. Fort, no, yeah, it's the train derailment. A train derailed, and now there's like all this toxic gas that went into the sky, and now it's apparently in the water. But then they're like, no, nah, but the you can still drink it. We think you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a watershed that that supplies five million plus people for their water. Did you it's all like vaping? Okay. We'll find out if it's a problem ten years from now. But hey, 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 it's just Ohio. It's okay. Scott Elia almost says his true thoughts about Reed Murphy. <laughs> Scott Elia reviews My Neighbor Totoro. I'm going to go with My Neighbor Totoro. I have Totoro. never seen that. Same. It's good. Scott Elia's take on football <laughs> or politics or movies or music. We'll really never know what this was supposed to be. I just. Dude, I. So, like. <laughs> I can't just hear that. Hear that. I already. My brain was going in fifteen different directions. I just. So did, I so like. <laughs> and finally, Scott Elliott calls Kansas City Chiefs coach Andy Reid fat. Andy Reid's not going anywhere anytime soon. What are we looking to? With the Chiefs in the Eagles. or anywhere fast, hey, oh. hey. Uh. yeah, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> <sighs> now on to the actual top five. Number five, high school baseball star Ian Butler reveals the poop bucket. Like running at the point, you have to run all the way around to get to the like the little little press box with the bathroom you gotta like run in front of like stands so it's kind of awkward so we were talking about putting a bucket going like the corner of the dugout just put a little bucket over there oh no so you know I, it, it works it gets the job done so no i haven't i haven't been in that situation because of the bucket who has to empty the bucket person who had the worst game Honestly, it's just, it's just a point. You just gotta you gotta be that guy. You gotta step up. And say I'm gonna do the bucket. Thing. I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna dump it in the woods. Have you been that guy? No. Have you done the bucket? No, no, you no, can't be no. That I guy. don't step up. No, I'm not. I'm not touching it. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> not about that life. <laughs> not about that life. Number four, Luis Martinez reveals he once did meth for a pog. It's a don't, don't do meth. Pay the writers. Uh, don't do meth. <laughs> I did meth one time, and it was the most horrible experience of my life. Shit. How did that day go? It's you broke bad. I broke, I broke bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, look, the reason, and it was, uh, it was, it, it, Ludacris called it, you know, the new phenomenon, you know, white girls with fat asses. And this was pre that. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I had, I always had, I always had the, the, the cocaine, but this particular one was like, I want to do the other thing. And I was like, oh my God, why? And that was, that was, and I was like, all right. And the, the, that day after of that is, I don't know. I can understand why meth heads just go get high again, because the come down on that drug is fucking horrible. So PSA kids, Meth is not worth it, even if it's a white girl with a fat ass. Travis Byram at number three. Travis Byram and Olivia Cates' awkward oatmeal interaction. Oh. <laughs> it made me very happy. I like, like oh. I said, rich people. That's right, yeah. <laughs> people suffering. <laughs> and, and oatmeal. Right? Oatmeal right. in the morning. It's oh, oatmeal. Oatmeal? He's like, oatmeal in the morning, so... <laughs> yeah, watch and rich people suffer in oatmeal. Okay. No, because he's he's telling you like oatmeal all the time. Sure. Reed, what we got going on? <laughs> I was I was ready to just let that keep going. I wanted to know more about no. oatmeal. Oh, number two, Scott Elia's thoughts on Make a Wish Kids. I have to I have to just talk myself off the ledge and not and tell myself Scott he's not a normal Giants fan. He has a new heart. He's a Make-A-Wish kid. Don't be mean. And I keep 
finding myself just hating every second of that. And the number one take in the history of the 323, no matter how you feel about John McCann, the Philly captain, it is probably the most beloved take that he has had on this show and the most used that we have. It is John McCann's take on Scott Elia. Fuck Scott. Yeah, I like that. Hey, congrats, Scott. You get a little bit of you get you get to co own that. Yay. I do want to give credit to all of our audio quality because I do have to pay attention to both your lips as we're doing this recap to find out when it actually ends and when <laughs> it, we're actually talking. It's weird. It's weird to hear ourselves again, but it's nice to be narcissistic. And you know what's even nicer? Just being with you guys. And I'm oh. happy to happy to do it for these three years, and happy to keep doing it for as long as we can. You know, until uh, you know, until the Earth just melts or something, whatever, or whatever, or we get canceled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's, you can always both get are canceled. very likely to happen tomorrow. Fucking okay. yeah, it could just it could happen <laughs> at any moment. <laughs> so. That wasn't me. It was a recording. It was a deep fake. <laughs> Scott Elia, host of College Shame Day. You can find it on the 323 feed. We love you, buddy. Thank you for being here. Keep doing great work. And, of course, Zahair Ali, host of the Animation Deliberation Podcast. You can find it with the Stranded Panda Network. We love you, buddy. And I'm glad to have you guys you can follow the show on all the social media platforms at 323 read as at 323 r-e-i-d patreon.com slash 323 read and subscribe to the 323 network on our youtube page we will talk to you all very very soon we have ricks versus gricks the sunday hangover we have football back as zahara ali is holding up the commander's helmet left hand up yeah the oh, fucking commanders! Ah! Hell yeah! <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, folks. Hey, shout out to the three two three. I think that I should have won for my Sean Connery. Welcome to the Rock. But the Hulk Hogan's not bad. Uh, three two three family. It's always a pleasure to come in on the show. Congratulations on a hundred shows. Uh, hopefully, I'll be here for the two hundredth. And uh, Big Chief Burrito loves the three two three. Hey everybody, it's Brad, a.k.a. Certified Lover Brad, as I'm called on this show. I uh, just want to give a quick shout out to 323, great podcast, and I'm looking forward to being on more in the future. Happy 100th podcast anniversary. It's great to see how the show has um, transformed and really gathered a lot of great momentum. Hey, 323, congratulations. It is always an absolute honor to be on here and talk about um, my niche interests with one of my best buddies. Uh, here's to 100 more podcasts, three more years. Uh, and I also heard that I won an, <laughs> <laughs> an award. <coughs> <coughs> I think it was for best personality. Thank you. This is amazing. All right, baby, take Whoa. care.